What are you hearing about McDaniel's thinking? Because uh, because he has an opportunity to get a job. I guess it seems every year when, when if it seems to be the proper fit, or is he kind of be like the the Bill Guthridge to to uh, Bill Belichick's Dean Smith? I don't think it's that, Rich. I really don't think it is that. I think that you know from the people around. Josh McDaniels, you know, the people who I know who know him well, uh, his whole attitude is he is going to be interested in a job when he feels like the situation uh, has a lot of things in the organization that he could come in and win with. I, I think that, you know, about a month ago, I had David Shaw on my podcast, and I asked him about, uh, taking a job in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. One day I may do it. But he said, quite honestly, when you have a family and you take one of these jobs, you're good for two years, maybe three. And then in most cases, you are you enter the spin cycle. You leave that job. You're the offensive coordinator the next year in Jacksonville. You're moving your family all around the country. And as he said, why would I ever leave this place? And I interviewed him in his office in Palo Alto. And, you know, as you know, it's heavenly out there. It is. It just is fantastic. And so, you know, I think also, Rich, I think one thing that McDaniels believes is if you don't have a quarterback who's going to make you competitive pretty early, it's going to be hard to win. So I think the combination of, front office and quarterback plus his family he's got four children one of them very young and they love where they are and if you're him and you're working for bill belichick and you're coaching tom brady uh and you're going to the super bowl and going to the championship game all the time it would have to be a pretty special opportunity to leave the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience